Understanding French Bulldog genetics can revolutionize breeding practices and improve the health of future generations. Unlike most other breeds, it's very important to have a full DNA profile of any French Bulldog that you are buying or that you already own. This will give you a better understanding of the specific phenotypes and genotypes that your dog can reproduce in their offspring, as well as give you 100% certainty that you aren't reproducing any health disorders that can be tested in their DNA. We will use this foundation we are building in this video to expand on your knowledge of DNA so you can fully grasp the concept of French Bulldog colors and exactly how to produce them in my next few videos where I will cover all French Bulldog colors and coat combinations and how to predict them in your next litter. So stick with me to the end of this video and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my page and hit the bell notifications as I will bring you the most clear and concise information out there when it comes to French Bulldogs. What's up guys? I'm Aaron with Laron Frenchies. As you may know, French Bulldog genetics and DNA can sound like a biology project. I'm here to simplify it for you and make it easy to understand so whether you are breeding or buying a puppy from a breeder, you are well informed on the puppy you are producing or buying. Once you watch this video, you will know exactly how DNA works with French Bulldogs to give you the foundational understanding you need to reproduce certain traits in future offspring and how to identify studs with the correct DNA to do so. When you are reading a DNA profile, there are some basic concepts that you must understand. The first being the difference between genotypes and phenotypes. Genotypes and phenotypes are two ways of describing an organism's traits. Genotypes are a set of instructions in the DNA of French Bulldogs and are related to the genes while phenotypes are related to the physical traits which show visually. You can either see the physical traits of a French Bulldog or predict the probability of parents producing offspring with physical traits by understanding the genotypes. The letters in a DNA profile represent a particular locus. A locus is a specific or fixed position on a chromosome where a particular gene or genetic marker is located. Inside of a locus is an allele that is one or two or more versions of a DNA sequence at a given location on a chromosome. To put it simply, a locus is a specific location of a gene on a chromosome and an allele is the variation of that gene on the same location on the chromosome. Now that we have that out of the way, let's discuss the different genetic disorders that French Bulldogs can have and how a simple DNA test can prevent you from ever buying or producing such a dog. It is very important that as a responsible breeder, we never reproduce with any dog that has a genetic disorder. Some of the most common genetic disorders that can be tested in a French Bulldog's DNA include the six found on this DNA test attached. All of these genetic disorders can significantly affect the overall length and quality of life of a French Bulldog and cause issues ranging from neurological and skeletal all the way to kidney stones and their eyesight. In most cases, when it comes to breeding, you will need two copies of a recessive gene to allow that particular physical trait to show in a dog. A gene is considered recessive if it takes two copies of that gene to show physically in your dog. There are situations where a dog can have two copies of a recessive gene and it not show physically because it is covered up by a more dominant gene. An example of this is the blue gene or dilute that reads as little d little d in a DNA profile while they also have two copies of an allele responsible for cream represented as little e little e. Although this dog would show as a blue dog in most situations, cream is a more dominant gene and will always completely cover up the blue with cream. In the case of a gene like Merle, this is a dominant gene, meaning you only need one copy of the trait to produce a visually Merle dog. As I mentioned in many of my other videos, anytime you breed two Merle dogs together, you have a 25% chance of each puppy being blind or deaf. Taking a risk like this is highly unethical and irresponsible, so never do it. Please mark this chart and remember it. The chart gives you the specific genes in French Bulldogs that are dominant and ones that are recessive. It is very important to understand this chart as it will be important to understanding exactly what genotypes and phenotypes your dog has and how to predict future litters, which we will cover in a future video. There are three different genotypes or genetic information for each phenotype when testing the DNA of a French Bulldog. To make this relative to French Bulldogs, let's use the genotype responsible for creating a blue dog by using the dilute gene. Big D, Big D is homozygous dominant, Big D, Little D is heterozygous, and Little D, Little D is homozygous recessive. In this example, Little D, Little D is the only combination of genotype that is responsible for producing a dog that visually has a blue coat, while Big D, Little D would make your dog a carrier, meaning they can pass the genotype on to their offspring. This is so because referring back to the chart, you can see that the blue coat or dilute gene is a recessive gene. This means that it takes two copies of the genotype to show the visual trait of a blue in a French Bulldog. If the dog is Big D, Little D, 
they will not visually show blue on their coat and we call them carriers. Carriers refer to a recessive genotype where a French Bulldog has one copy of the allele in their DNA. They can create blue offspring by breeding them with a dog that is either a blue dog that carries two copies of the recessive gene, little d, little d, or a carrier that has one copy of the gene, big d, little d, with much lower odds to produce one than with a visually blue French Bulldog. As you start mixing genetics together, it is also important to understand that some genes will always be more dominant than others. It is key to have this foundation of DNA as we move forward to understanding how to create certain genetic combinations in offspring and then how you can predict the probability of what your litter will look like before they are born. This is crucial to you preventing certain health issues when breeding dogs as well as appropriately pricing your puppies. Improving the breed and preserving the health and well-being of Frenchies for generations to come is our number one goal. Now that we have this foundation, we can start really building towards picking the correct studs to help produce the exact offspring that supports the vision of your kennel. Understanding DNA will help you be 100% sure that you never breed any genetic disorders into your offspring, as well as help you market your litter better to potential buyers as watching my next video about French Bulldog colors will help you be a few months ahead of the curve and know exactly what your offspring will look like before they are born. You will be on your way to becoming an expert in French Bulldog DNA after watching both of those videos. If you aren't an expert on how genetics work with French Bulldogs and how to create specific combinations, it's totally okay. And I encourage you to watch more of my content on this page as well as others that are versed on the subject before buying a puppy or breeding them. I would like to hear back from each of you on if you found this information valuable and please comment below about what you learned from this video about genetics with French Bulldogs. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my page for more content on French Bulldogs. Thanks for watching.